everybody and welcome to episode two of From Groundwork to Greatness. This episode will be focusing on using a ball and a tarp to desensitize young horses just to give them some more reassurance on things that make noise, things that blow around and you know things touching them especially with when they're babies that they're used to things being thrown over them things being put on them things moving around their bodies so that way when they're older and you need to start working them that they are more adjusted to having all those kinds of things going on and can focus on you starting them versus everything that's going around them and you starting them so today we're gonna to focus on using a tarp and a ball, and I'll show you how I use these two things to help desensitize them. So here is me introducing Rain to the tarp. I started with it on the ground, and I just let her, you know, sniff it, walk up to it, look at it, you know, get used to it being in her environment before I start working with her with it. Uh, she didn't really care all that much about it, she looked at it a little bit, she tried to push me around a little to kind of lean on me too much. Uh, so I just made sure I kept proper distance from her in case she did spook. But uh, I let her sniff it, she touched it with her nose, which is also very good. Uh, I think that's the first thing, first thing you should do is let them touch it. And then I stood on it and I made noise to show her that it makes noise, it crinkles, and it moves. And that she was interested in but she again wasn't very scared of it so I continued to move forward and I asked her to walk over it uh, she was a little bit like whoa and then she just walked right over and didn't really care that much and then I gave her a reward here I'm going to walk her over it one more time I just straightened it out a little bit before I walked her on it and just to do it again, repetition is key sometimes with horses that, you know, do it once, do it twice, do it three times, make sure that they're really okay with it and that one of the times wasn't a fluke. And the next thing I did is that I picked up the tarp and kind of shook it around so she can see that it moves and it makes noise and just so that she generally gets used to that things can flap around and make a lot of noise just to get her used to that. And then I proceeded to walk with the tarp with her, again, reading her body language, making sure that she's okay. And if she f starts freaking out, all I would have to do is just drop the tarp and calm her down by either petting her or scratching her. But she handled it very well. She only looked at it a few times and was like, whoa, what's that? But uh, she's very brave, so she just kept on going, like nothing was going on. Very proud of her for that. Then I just let her sniff it again, just make sure that she knows like everything's okay. And next I went to put touch her with the tarp just to, you know, get her used to it touching her because it does sound funny and it does feel quite weird. And uh, just let her sniff it and, you know, touch it so that way she's good with it. That works best for her. So let her touch it on her own terms. And then I just gently, you know, paying attention to her body language you know, touched her with the tarp to make sure that she was used to it and okay with it. Next, I just did the same thing that I did on the right, on the left. Uh, you should do everything on both sides, especially when you're working with young horses. So I took the tarp on her other side and just did the same thing that I did before and just touched her with the tarp. So that way she gets used to it moving around and touching her just on both sides. The next thing I did is I went to put the tarp on her. Um, she was doing very well with everything up to that point. I thought it would take a day or two to get to this point, but uh, she proved to be very calm and patient about it, so I just put it on and then took it off and give her pets, make sure she knows she's a good girl. Next, I just, you know, flap it around a little bit because it is going to get put on her, so she gets used to the noise and, and moving around. And then just threw it on her again because, like I said, it's best to do these things a few times. And she was being such a good girl, I decided to open up the tarp on her 
since she doesn't very much care for it. And then I just took it off and rewarded her. And then we're going to do it again. Just, you know, making sure that she's really used to this and that the first few times weren't just a fluke and that she knows that this is okay and everything's going to be good. Just a lot of positive reassurance with her. Make sure she knows she's being a good girl. And then the next thing I did was really straighten it out over her body. And then I decided I was going to try to walk with her with the tarp on. Yeah, this is the first time she's ever walked like this with the tarp on, believe it or not. Uh, she was very brave and very calm about it, which was pretty surprising. So I just did it for a few steps. And then I proceeded to take the tarp off. Uh, next thing I'm doing is just playing with her, basically. She gets offended if like she can't see me, so I thought that was kind of funny. And then moving on to the ball. So with the ball, I first start by lifting up and touching them with it. Just getting them used to it bouncing and touching their sides. Uh, she's been working with the ball for quite a long time now, so introducing them to the ball, just make sure you have them on a lunge line and that they see it kind of roll it around a little bit and it will take a little bit more time depending on the horse. Some horses love it, some horses are like, I don't like that. Um, she's always liked it. She likes to play with it by herself in the paddock and throw it around. The next thing I did is I lift the ball up again, and I've been putting it on her back and then just moving it from left to right on top of her just to get used to the movement on top of her back where she's not looking at it. And this will also help when you start mounting them so that way they're used to something already coming up and above them swinging over to one side, and then coming back around to the other side. This uh, took a lot of time, a lot of patience with her uh, to get used to this. She did try to run away <laughs> quite a few times when I did this. Um, and like I said, whatever you do to one side, you got to do to the other side. Uh, this side is a little harder for her. She has to stand quite as still. But again, just patience waiting for her to be calm, and then continuing to do it. And the second that she's not focusing or walking away, I just stop and wait for her to come back into concentration so that way we can do this together. And this is very good for desensitizing them in case you're taking your jacket on and off too. Uh, if you're showing and it's a hot day and you want to warm up without your coat on and later on put your coat on, both these exercises are great so they get used to things you know, flying around above them because I've had some horses that don't quite like it when you put your coat on at a horse show. But other than that, I think all these exercises are very good for building trust with your horse and to make them a little more desensitized to things flying around. Rain is also a very good girl. She's very well behaved about this stuff. And the next thing I did was I rolled it off the back of her butt uh, just so that way she's used to it bouncing off of her and I did this a few times and she was very good for both times uh, she's also a very good girl and I'm very proud of her and all she does so in conclusion you can see that Rain handled this very very well and I'm actually very impressed because it was the first time of her ever seeing a tarp. Now the ball I've been using with her for a while now and she likes to play with it out her in her field anyways. But just in general, her ability to, you know, look at me, be like, what, I don't know what that is. And then just be like, okay, but if you say it's fine, it's fine. So I think a lot of this and desensitizing your horses is gonna take a lot of trust that is built between you and your horse. This will also build a lot of trust between you and your horse. And my main point here is that you just need to take your time, make sure that they're okay, read their body language. If they're, you know, about to lose it and take off with you, be able to know like, read their ears, if their ears are pinned and their eyes are sideways and their body's tense and their tail's up, you might want to take it down a notch. But if they're relaxed and their their ears are, you know, focusing on you and, you know, their body's more relaxed and then you can continue to keep progressing forward as you're going with the desensitization. So my main thing is, you know, patience as always, always be patient with them. Rewarding, I know some people don't agree much with rewarding with treats, and the only time I ever do use treats with my yearling is when I'm working with her like this and I want her to make sure she knows she's a good girl. 
Other than that, I, I don't ever give her cookies, not when she's in the cross ties or around people or else she will get a little pushy. She's pushy in nature. I don't know if you could tell by the video, but um, definitely for sure, patience. And you know, just reading your horse and seeing how they're doing, making sure that they're okay with the situation you are putting them in. And I think for sure that this exercise will help you build trust with no matter what horse you're doing it with, whether it's another yearling, a two-year-old, a 15-year-old, a show horse. I think that this is an excellent exercise to use so that they get desensitized to these things because if you are at a horse show, there will be flags flying around, there will be trash bags going across and you need to know, hey, my horse knows this stuff, I've done this and she'll be okay as long as I reassure her. So I think that sums up episode two of uh, Groundwork to Greatness on desensitization and using a ball and a tarp. And I look forward to seeing everybody in two weeks for episode three.